Good morning, it's Labor Day morning. I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford and we are tracking a few spots in the tropics, but thankfully we do not have any threats here to our part of the U.S., the Gulf Coast, the New Orleans area, and in fact, for all of the U.S., there are really no threats at this point. We do have two active named storms out in the Atlantic and one more tropical wave to talk about, so really three spots to talk about, but again, none of the three is looking like a threat for the U.S. Looking out at the Atlantic right now, we have the two storms, Danielle and Earl. And Danielle, of course, has been way to the north. It's a Category 1 hurricane. It's been like that for a couple of days now, but it is expected to weaken pretty soon. It's going to be heading out over these much cooler waters with more wind shear, and we're expecting it to can kind of gradually weaken over the next few days. Earl is much closer to us. It's outside of the Caribbean Sea in the Western Atlantic, and it's not too far from some of the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico, but thankfully a lot of the strongest winds, and it's still a tropical storm, but the strongest winds and some of the heaviest thunderstorms and so forth have been located on the north and east side of the system, placing that roughest weather with tropical storm Earl actually away from the islands, although certainly still some rounds of heavy rain possible there, as well as breezy and gusty conditions. As we look at what else is happening, we have that one other wave, which is coming off of the coast of Africa. This one has a medium chance of developing in the next five days. Now note, this one is likely going to take this early curve off to the north. So this one doesn't appear at this point like it's going to get to our part of the ocean. And in fact, looking at the long range models, of course, you don't want to uh, just sign up on those exactly because they are probably going to change the farther out they go. But pretty consistently, the GFS long range especially has just been kind of fizzling this somewhere around this general area in the central Atlantic. So certainly something to watch. We'll keep our eye on it, but it is really far out there. And again, at this point, doesn't appear that we will have to deal with any effects from that. So getting into the details of the storms, just a little bit more tropical storm Earl. As of this Labor Day morning at 10 a.m., it has 65 mile per hour winds. It's moving north, northwest rather slowly, but check out its path. This has actually over the weekend been shifted a little bit more and more to the east, a little farther away from any sort of islands or from the U.S. or Bahamas and places like that, more kind of out over the ocean. The only thing that we'll have to, the only spot that we'll really have to watch this is Bermuda. You can see where Bermuda is located here, and it looks like this might be passing just off to the east, perhaps. So we will see. By that point, it may have strengthened because it will be moving into an area that's a little more conducive for development with less wind shear. It may have strengthened to possibly a category one or two hurricane by then. And note that the National Hurricane Center does have it by the weekend, this coming weekend, at a category three status. So it could be our first major hurricane. We will see. But by that point, it does look like it will be heading out more over those open ocean waters off to the north. As for Hurricane Danielle, again, it's way north, and what we're going to see is a trough of low pressure from Canada coming in, sweeping it off to the east, and that's why we're expecting it to take this kind of journey as it gradually weakens. There will be cooler waters, there will be more wind shear, and so that's why you see it dropping down to a tropical storm, maybe by Wednesday, and then possibly a post-tropical low pressure system heading into Thursday and beyond. And that one you can see taking that much more northerly course. Looking at our 2022 Atlantic hurricane season names, we've made it of course through Earl. And the next name is Fiona. We'll see if that spot over on the other side of the ocean does indeed become Fiona, but again, only a medium chance for developing in the next five days or so. And really nothing else on the horizon for us, at least at this point. The other names after Fiona, Gaston, Armin, and Ian, and Julia. And we will see, but again, we've had a below average season so far. And even now, typically on Labor Day, we have a lot to talk about in the tropics. And we are talking about a few spots, but it's quieter than it could be for sure at this point in the season. And uh, we'll see if we actually make up enough of those names in the second half of the season after we spent the first half of the season only with those three for about two months. We had only made it to Colin and did not add any more. Of course, over the weekend, we have added Danielle and Earl. That's it for your update on this Labor Day morning. Hope you guys have a good rest of the day. We'll have more updates, of course, coming up throughout the week.